Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have today for you a video on how to find and buy the artist grade pencils that you are happy with. So um, let's get started. So the first thing um, you need to think about is there are many brands and there are websites like Dick Blick that will sort of have a list for you of which are the artist grade pencils. And artist grade pencils are usually have a um, higher quality and stronger pigment of this higher quality pigment. Um, they are usually, um, you know, made with higher quality wood. Uh, sometimes not always have, you know, special features like light fastness and so on. So that's something to keep in mind. Some of the most popular brands um, in America are probably Prismacolor, Fiber Castell, and slightly less popular because of their price here in America is the Carandash Luminance pencils. Carandash also has another line of Pablos. I don't have the Pablos. They're 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 similar. They're not as expensive as Luminance, but they're also expensive here in America. So I don't have the, the Pablos. So those are some things to keep in mind is to think about which are the different brands. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is to remember some numbers that I want, you know, people to keep in mind, um, especially if you are an adult colorist or a stamper, you might not be familiar with the different things about um, art supplies. So the thing to keep in mind is to keep in mind this $35 number because that's the, your shipping. That's where you get free shipping on Amazon.com. So, and you also want to keep in mind $100. $100 is the everyday value of your order in order to get free shipping at dipbook.com. They often have those special sales where you'll get free shipping if you buy a particular item or you'll get free shipping if your order is as low as $69 is the lowest I've seen or $79 or $89. But it's, you know, but to be on the safe side, it's usually $100. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is the manufacturer's retail price is fairly inflated and for most pencils the market price and the price that they actually go for is about 50 percent or less of the manufacturer's retail price so um some pencils so like for these pencils i think the the suggested retail price in the u.s was something like 140 but i paid 70 for it and 70 is about the current market price for these pencils so that's something to to also to keep in mind the other thing to keep in mind is that almost all of these artist grade pencils will have open stock so um so that's something for you to keep in mind and the thing that i i think is really important to do is to go to the manufacturer's website um, or in the case of Luminance, you have to go to Cheap Joe's websites because for some reason the American Luminance website doesn't tell you the colors that are in the set, which is kind of obnoxious and annoying and I don't understand why. But for the other pencils, you can just um, go to the Fiber Castell website or the Prismacolor website and they'll tell you what colors are in the individual sets and they'll also be in the back of the box, which some websites will list but others will not. Um, and I'll give you links on how to find the, um, the colors that are included in the various sets for the ones that I have. So these are the colors that, that are included. So the reason why you wanna know what colors are included in the set is that as you think about what set you wanna get, um, what you can do and what I what I did with the Fiber Castell and what I didn't do with the Prismacolor, although I kinda wish I had, what I did with the Fiber Castell is you go to your local art store and you pick up the open stock and open stock means that they have individual pencils available for purchase. Now, if you're used to using something like Crayola or other um, sort of student brand or um, or crafter brand of pencils like Spectrum Noir, they don't sell open stock here in the U.S. They might in other countries, but in the U.S. there is no open stock. So for these pencils, what you're used to doing is you're used to say you run out of the red and you gotta go to the store and buy a pack that has the red. Well, with these artist grade pencils, they do have open stock. So what you can do is you can check to see what pencils are in the set that you feel like you're most likely to get. And then you can purchase some pencils that aren't in the sets that you're most likely to get, plus the white and the black. Because you'll run out of the white and the black pretty quickly and you'll need to replenish that anyway. And then you go to the store, you get your open stock pencils. One of the open stock pencils that I that I got was the Indian red for this. Um, 
uh, for this uh, fiber castell polychromos. So then you go to the store, you get your open stock, you know, you'll get your three or four colors or whatever, you try it out, and then you decide if that's what you want to do. So that's one of the best ways to sort of decide um, which brand you want to do. And then if you do that, you can get open stock from a number of different pencils, a number of different companies, and you can see which ones, you know, you're more likely to get. That way you don't have to invest in, you know, um, seventy, a hundred dollars, or however much the set that you want costs. Um, I understand that a lot of people might not have a nearby art store, but if you do have a nearby art store, go to your nearby art store and check out their open stock. A lot of times, you don't even have to buy the pencil in the art store. You can actually just play with it right in the art store, and you don't actually have to buy the pencil. Um, keep in mind, um, especially with these kinds of pencils, is that. If you purchase in the physical store, you're almost always going to pay more. There are some exceptions to this, but if you go to the physical store and you purchase your pencils, you're almost certainly going to pay more. I know some people use things like um, Joann's or um, Michael's will have a 40% off coupon. But as I said earlier, um, you know, 50% off is, is pretty much where your goal price should be, sometimes much more than 50% off. So 40% off coupon, you still end up paying more, though not as much more as retail. Uh, almost never pay retail for these artist grade pencils because, you know, there's almost always a better deal. Matter of fact, one of your the best resources that you should have is you should get to know the Dick Blick website. Dick Blick and also Jerry's Autorama in the U.S. because Jerry's Autorama and Dick Blick, their everyday lowest price for the pencils is just their everyday price and that should be the least that you pay for any set of pencils so if you go and say like I think this set is $58 um, I got this at Jerry's Autorama was $59.58 so about $60 for this set and Amazon had it for about $60 so that's about the least that I would pay now, um, I don't know if Jerry's Autorama has a physical store, but Dick Blick does have physical stores. And at their physical stores, what they will do if you have a membership is you can get the online price plus shipping. So if you, so if you want to get, say you want to get the 120 pack of the um, Fiber Castell Polychromos, right? Um, and I haven't seen a store that has it, but let's say you go to a store and they have it and that, that set costs $200 online. So if you go to the physical store, they will give you the best online price plus shipping. But if you spend over a hundred dollars, shipping is always free. So if you, you can go to the physical store and get the exact same price without shipping online, you know, if if your order is about $100, sometimes maybe as low as $69 if there's some sort of sale going on. So that's something to keep in mind um, as you plan out, you know, how you're going to get your pencils and what you're going to do for getting whatever set of pencils you decide to go with. Brands. Um, the last thing I want to talk to you about is uh, obviously you're on YouTube, so you know YouTube. Um, check out my reviews on these pencils because I've reviewed all of these pencils. I reviewed the Luminance. I reviewed the... Uh, Prismacolor and I reviewed the Polychromos. Um, I have not reviewed uh, Crayola and other crafter brand, uh, other crafter level pencils, but I can if you guys want me to. Um, just gotta let me know, you know, what sort of pencils you want me to review and I can see if I can get a hold of them at a reasonable price and review them. Um, so I think that's about it. So those are some of the tips that I learned. Uh, the main thing is, you know, to, to try if there's a, an art store near you. I know for a lot of people, one of my friends said the nearest art store to her is like two hours away. So if that's the case, then you pretty much have to trust some of these online reviews. Oh, and um, I have a list of some of the YouTubers who I think do a great job of doing these videos. Of course me, so you can check out my reviews. But there's a, there's, um, a few other people who I think do a great job with these reviews. Um... So owingsart.com, he does an amazing job with his reviews. I don't know any of these people. I haven't contacted them to let them know I was doing this. I just did this because I like their videos. Um, owingsart.com does a great job. Um, Lack Free Fine Art, she talks really fast, but she's really, really good. So um, Mind of Watercolor, he's also really good. And of course me, um, Carrier coloring carrier on um youtube so if you if you check out their their videos their videos are accurate and honest 
and you know they have different opinions about the different brands so you get a chance to see the um to see from different people what they think but they generally do a really good job of just giving you an honest and open review so um, I strongly recommend that you check those out before making your final buying decision especially if you don't have an art store near you and you just have to um, go buy what's available now even if the other thing about open stock is even if you don't have an art store near you I strongly suggest that you stick with a brand that has open stock unless you are looking at Crayola level prices Crayola this set was like $2.99 but if you're if you're going to be spending you know like $70 or $100 for like there's a there's a brand of pencils I think where you can get um, I think that's Spectrum Noir where you can get the whole set for about a hundred dollars overall i strongly recommend that you look at that you stick to brands that have open stock because if you run out of pencils if you like for example if you discover a color that you really like you don't want to have to pay twenty dollars just to get that one color that you really like and i absolutely love indian red let me show you indian red i use indian red and dark indigo pretty much for anything that has red or that has blue in it because i love those colors so much um so that's something to keep in mind that you, you know, that if you decide that you want um, artist grade pencils is really to stick to something that has open stock. And most of these artist grade pencils will have open stock available, um, even if you don't have an art store near you. That way you can, at the very least, order the individual pencils when you run out or if the pencil breaks or something like that happens. Um, so anyway, thank you once again for sticking with me. If you have any tips or any tricks that you use to help you find and purchase the pencils that you totally loved, or if there are any special tips that you think people should know about, let me know in the comments and um, enjoy. And thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope you subscribe to my channel because tomorrow I will be doing a review and a giveaway of Joanna Bransford's brand new book, Lost Ocean. I'll be reviewing a copy and giving away a copy to a lucky winner. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to my channel and have a great day. Bye.